Hello, welcome back to the Backbone.js video tutorial series. Today we'll be talking about collections. Um, we don't need jQuery this time, so we haven't didn't include it, but I did create a real simple model to start us off with. Uh, well, actually, we'll get rid of this. We don't really need that. Um, so, what are collections? Collections are a collection of models. So, let's say you were doing a Twitter uh, widget. Your models would be each individual tweet, and the collection would be all of the tweets combined. Um, so, the nice things about collections is using Ajax to populate a whole list of models really quickly and easily. Uh, sadly, we won't be talking about how to do that today because that is for the next tutorial. This tutorial will just be showing you the basics of the model or um, collections and setting it up. So we'll start with the obvious thing. Just like everything else is backbone dot its name and then extend. So as usual there's the initialize function. Don't really have anything to put in there for this time. Um, one of the special attributes you can add in is model, which specifies what type of models are being sent in. In this case, we'll be sending it in person. So, we set it to person model. That way, if uh, you use the collection to actually create the models, it'll know what type of model to make. Uh, otherwise, you can just send in already made models and add those into the collection. Uh, we'll, we'll stop right there for now. So well, let's go ahead and throw console.log in here. People collection. Well, let's. We could do like this. We'll do var person equals a new person to create a new model. And we'll just say name is Joe. And then we can do the first thing we can do with. Oh, we should probably create. Equals new people. Now we can always send people in right here. Oh, person. So we can add models here. I'll show you that real quick. Okay, so those two are initialized. Um, so yeah, we can always send people in or models in through here uh, we could also do people dot add um, those are the two basic ways to do it there's another one that uh, will automatically sync it with the back end but I'll show that to you in the next video these don't have to be singular models, they could be arrays of models. So, like name Bob, name Jim. So, this will create multiple models to be added into the collection. Uh, we can always see what 
models are in the collection using people that models now this be warned that this will actually give you a raw it will like give you raw access to the collection of models so as you'll see in this so we got attributes we got Joe in here Bob and Jim. So yeah, this gives you raw access to the models. Uh, normally, if you're just needing to read the data, you should do dot to JSON, and that will give you quite a bit less in there. It's just going to give you raw object, uh, raw objects without all the it won't give you the full model, it'll just give you an object literal representation. Um, next we have the counterpart to add which is remove. For this we actually have to have uh, a saved one so we can't send in an anonymous one because it won't actually be a match with equals 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 which so I won't know to take it out. So we can do remove person. This time we got two Bob and Jim so Joe got removed. Um There's a similar thing, which would be uh, people dot reset, which is exactly like add, except it removes all the previous people uh, models that were in it before. So it, you would just get these ones. So if we try this again. We'll even add person here. Should just be three. Yep. Um. Uh, as usual with Backbone, there are events that we can subscribe to. So there's on add. And there's a function you can add in here. Um, there's remove. Now, if you use add, it will throw an event for each single model being added in. If you use reset, it will throw one reset event. Uh, Remove is just like add. Do, do, do. Now here's a fun, interesting thing. Um, you can add IDs to things, and this is kind of a special attribute for a few reasons. Um, if we have IDs, in collections, no two models can have the same ID. So if we're using the default, then if you try, so if you don't specify ID equals something, or even if you specify that it equals the same as the default, then the object will be, or the model will be created. It will be attempted to be added, but then it won't work. It'll just throw it out. So. Like right now, we'll try it, and there should only be one object in the array. Yep, but it's Bob. Oh, right. Because person should have been added there, though. So I don't know why Joe wasn't the one in there. I wonder if I get rid of this, it'll change that. Still, Bob. Well, 
Oh, because of the reset. Right. Okay. Bob comes first here. Um, so you have to have unique IDs between all of your models inside the collection. Um, one of the things you can do, let me just get rid of all these bits here, um, is to get a person by the ID. Dot get and you just put in the ID, which should be zero or whatever number the ID is. The ID is actually supposed to match up with the server, so the database actually. So that's why they even implemented that. Um, you can also get by CID, which is client ID, um, which take a string actually, C1. Um, we'll get rid of these, or this ID bit here now. So if you look, oh, no get by CID, huh? Did I do the, let's try, did, wait. No, I did people, okay. People dot get ah, it's lowercase after the C. So I copied down that copied that down wrong on my notes. So lowercase C I D. And we'll so dot log that. So here's the one with the CID. Now if you look, all of these objects have, well, okay, if we do models, you'll see that every single one of them has a CID, which is just incremental. So this is meant to be a temporary ID used on the front end before is added to the database. Um, now there's a few other things that are like you know collection type things we can do um, people dot at and then you can put in the index number because it you know it keeps an array so get the one that's the index or of the array. Um, now there's also push, which is just like add, except that it will always add it to the end of the collection. And then there's on, and then there's pop, of course, to pop it off the end, or get the one off the end. Um, then there's shift and unshift which is just like pop and push and pop except that it does it to the front end of the array now the big thing is add will oh, right now because we have no specified way to order the models it will always just add it onto the end but you can use you can create a comparator, which is a function that tells you how to order them. So if you just use add, it will always put them in the correct order. If you use push, pop, shift, and unshift, it won't pay attention to the sorted order. Now, the comparator can be one of two things. Um, if it is you can have it just use one argument and then just return a an attribute from the model or something and so it'll, it will sort it by the value that is returned otherwise you can get two attributes 
or two models and you can tell them how they compare to each other. Um, so like person two to get name. But what it is, what you need to return with this one is negative one if person one is let it should come before person two. They should return zero if they can be in the same spot because they're equal. And return one if person if yeah, person should be after person two. So yeah, you can figure that out, I'm sure. Um, of course, there is, because of the ability to sort, there is a sort function. So if you've been using push, pop, shift, unshift, then sort function comes in handy. Another place where sort function comes in handy is if you make edits to your models, they are not resorted. So if you make an edit that would change where it should be sorted in the array, then this will resort it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that for for sorting. Um, there's another fun one, which would be bolt dot pluck. And so you just type in the name of an attribute and it will return and I'll even show you an array of just the attributes of the models and it should be this attribute so it would return a list of Joe, Bob, Jim Joe, Bob, Jim. And the final thing that I wanted to do. Do where? So this will return a model this is kind of a filtering thing. So if I put name Joe it will return all of the models that match this. So all the models that have the name of Joe. There it is. And that's all I have to show you. Um, if, there, if I miss anything that you really wanted to see, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe to the channel and like the, the video, try to get this series out there because I know there are, are a lot of p tutorials going on about Backbone.js but very few video tutorials and I think video is a great way to teach. So yeah, do what you can to share this and happy coding!